in the shipping settings we have lots of shipping settings this video helps you to explain all the settings by its example so here you see only two options enable and disable because you don't have any active plan in the application so at checkout it must require a first name equal to circle if you enable the shipping plan you will see another option that is a test mode so at checkout you can continue with the test with first name circle and enable the application for all the real customer can continue to check out disable the option that means application will not send any rate the next option is display shipping rate so if you have multiple shipping rates set up in the application and at the checkout if you only want to display a higher rates that which has a higher price then you can set only higher and so application will only send a one rate which has a highest shipping cost the next option is rate modifier title setting so if you have a rate modifier in the application rate settings then it will have a title to different option like up and description replace description up and title and replace title i will show you this by example so let's set replace title and in the i have set a rate with a rate modifier that is a internal name here we have shipping condition like order price greater than 100 and let's say percentage of 100 decrease that means a free shipping this title will be displayed at checkout so i have a base rate of standard shipping 10 dollar at checkout if i increase my cart value more than 100 it will display a free shipping by rate modifier and replace a title as well for understand first settings let's see we have a two rates one is for product specific i have selected one products rate and another is for regular shipping rates so finally at checkout if we go and see there will two rates one is for free shipping and another is product based demo rate so now if we set yes that means the application will only send the rates which is product based like uh, this product will have only one rate and see see the application has only sent products defined rate and do not send the default rate that is a flat rate kind of weight and without any condition for the next setting this is useful if you have a group of products and if customer purchase multiple items from the same group and you want to send them by one shipping rates only. Let's understand by example. So here with the same shipping rates I have two products now and both two items in the cart. So here you will see 120 shipping cost that is a base rate only. Now if I set yes here and check out you see 240 so 120 for this product and 120 for this product third option is for example you have all products base rate and in the cart some of the line items which don't have any rates so to understand this example let's disable the default rate and we have now only one product rate that is for demo one and at checkout let's add both item in the cart and see what happened see here application do not send any rate and let's try with yes and test application has sent a rate for the demo one to understand this option example 
let's i have set a tire in this product base rate like 0 to 1 kilogram 100 rupees 1 to 5 120 5 to 10 150 so this will actually total the entire cart my cart has now 7 kilograms so it shows 150 because this is the price between 5 to 10 so now let's set yes and at checkout so this demo one will have only 4 kilograms so this will include 1 to 5 and send 120 rupees only for the next option I have set up a shipping rate by surcharge like every 1 kilogram I have uh, 20 rupees so my cart value is total 7 kilogram and this application send 140 kilogram sorry 140 rupees so let's set yes and see at checkout and try you will see standard shipping of 80 only because this weight the product weight has only 4 kilograms now with this mix card option both rates will be automatically combined in the application let's test and see both rate combine into one date and system will send only one day now last option that is zip code based product rate only if you set yes and at the product rate of demo one we set only few zip codes like uh, this option will help you to like if you have a frozen items that you send only in certain zip code that is nearby you then let's try to set up let me set one zip code only that is one zero triple one and save it so at the checkout if i do not use that zip code then application will not send any rate see here because this demo one only deliver to a zip code that is double one zero triple one let me test again see with the next setting mix and merge we will have another video for that i will explain you all regarding merge rate with example and this mix rate that means if you have a product based rate and non-product rate based both will be combined into one at rate with the advanced settings i will explain you in the next video thank you